old friend Chuck in St. Louis got a hold of me on Facebook. He said that he wanted to visit me in Denver in the summer of 2015. Chuck and another friend from Washington State drove in an old BMW to see me. They planned to smoke or eat what they bought while still in the state. After the visit, Chuck and my other friend would drive straight to Missouri and return to work. Chuck worried about flying with weed, and he worried about ambitious cops in Kansas targeting him on I-70 on his way home. He studied Colorado pot tourism online and read nightmare stories of harassment by law enforcement. The first night they arrived, I stayed up late looking at retail stores on the computer, strategizing which areas of town had the most to offer. The next day, I told my friends about the Green Mile, a cluster of 10 stores or more on Broadway. I'd never been in a dispensary. I was sure that we would find what Chuck wanted to live out those lifelong pot fantasies in Colorado there. When I mentioned the Green Mile to Chuck, his eyes lit up. He wanted to find just the right dispensary, a happy, friendly place, he said. In his imagination, marijuana merchants sat atop tufts on Persian rugs, surrounded by clay cisterns erupting with buds. While he quivered at all the options, people would beckon him in to sample of the bounty, sitar music leaking from every corner of the room. So, like the expert I wanted to be, I swung the door open to the first of five stores on our sweeping tour of Denver's Green Mile. Security guards in the dispensary scrutinized our IDs. We waited in a small white room next to a potted rubber plant. We got in. Chuck maybe asked a question or two, and then he reached for $40 in his wallet. It took four minutes to buy weed and leave. Now what? I asked him. Before he drove home, he left the pot with me, but he took some edibles for his dealer in St. Louis. This was the plan. Our friend would have the edibles between his legs. If a Kansas cop pulled them over, he would scarf the edibles, all while the cop walked from his cruiser to Chuck's BMW. Apparently, Washingtonians have a high tolerance. After he got back to Missouri, Chuck called me and he said he had no run-ins with the police the whole drive home. While I am still no pot expert, I've been back to the Green Mile with different travelers. When you are in town, give me a call. Thank you.